Hi again. I, I'd like to continue talking about um, frames and bounds and, and center points and stuff. Um, why don't we make a few boxes this time? And let's imagine we want to make, you know, a whole bunch of boxes, you know, just one after another. Probably our best route is to use a loop, right? So what I'll do is I'll start here. I'll just delete all that and then I'll make a for loop. And let's say I want to make, um, you know, uh, let's say we want to make nine boxes. Okay, so there's zero to nine. Okay, um, or actually ten. I guess that's ten boxes, right? Um, and what I want to do is I want to make one box that that is one third of the width of the screen, and then line them up. So every time I make a box, it'll be one third the size of the screen, and then the height will be the same. So and then we'll line them up and then wrap them onto the next line, right? So they'll just kind of fill the screen. Um, so why don't we do this? Let's say let. Actually, why don't we put it outside here? Because we really only need to do this calculation once. W is going to be the width of our box. And uh, we'll calculate it as view dot, um, you know, we could get anything here. I'll use bounds this time. And then I'll say, give me the width and divide it by three. Okay, so now I know how wide my boxes need to be. And then what I'll do is I'll say, um, let's make a new rectangle. which will be, um, you know, I'll just use the x, y width and height, and I'll say x is going to be what? So it's going to be um, i times the width, okay? So why don't we do this? Why don't we say let x equal i times the width, okay? And then we'll put x here, right? I'm going to have a little problem right now because it's going to tell me that i is an integer and I can't multiply w times i because w is a CG float, right? Because when I ask for the width here, it'll see this is a CG float. And then when I divide it by 3, it'll still be a CG float. You know, we can test that with the option key. So I'll click on this and it says, yeah, CG float. And then if I, you know, option the i, it says it's an int. And then if I read the error message, it says, you know, binary operator can't be applied by operands of type int and CG float probably, right? So, so what do we do? Well, why don't we convert this I into a CG float like that? Okay, so now that's good, right? So um, now what's the Y going to be? Let's say let Y equal to, hmm, well, we got a problem, right? Because y is going to be 0 sometimes and then a greater number as we go down the screen, right? So this x is also a problem now too because um, when we get past three boxes, we'll be going off the right side of the screen. So why don't we do this? We'll say uh, mod 3. Okay, so mod takes the, the number here, divides into i, and gives you the remainder. So if i was 3 and I divided by 3, the remainder would be 0. If I take i and divide, or 4 and divide by 3, then the remainder is 1. 5 divided by 3, the remainder is 2. 6 divided by 3, the remainder is 0. So essentially here, we're going to get numbers that are going to be, you know, 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, you know, etc. right? Okay, so that's pretty good, but now we need the y to go up. So what I'm going to do here is we want to do the same thing, except I'm going to say CG float. Let me get it off the menu. And then what we'll do is we'll take i and divide by 3, right? And then multiply times our width. Yeah, this is the width, but I'm going to make the width and the height the same. So we can just imagine that's width and height, right? So now we can take our y and put it here. Now, here's a note, right? When we do the math inside the parentheses here, this will be done as an integer, right? So the answer will be an integer, and then the answer integer will convert to a CG float. And the same thing here. So when I divide i by 3, if i is 4, I get 1, not 1.333 or something like that, right? Because it's going to round down because it's an integer, okay? So now I can put the width here, and like I said, height is also going to be equal to width. Right, now let's make a make a, a view. So let's say let box equal UI view um, 
with a frame and our frame will be R and then we'll say um, view.add subview and we'll say uh, box, right? And then we should probably give our boxes a color, right? So why don't we say um, boxes will be um, have a background color of, I'm just going to use red for everything, right? Let's do background color red. And then let's give it a test, right? So I'll save that. I'll run my code here. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I got 10 boxes, right? Maybe we should have nine, right? Um, that looks all right. But maybe if the boxes had that tiny bit of space around them, they would look a lot better, right? So I'm going to pose that as a problem. You can stop the video and try and solve that one on your own right now if you want. Okay, so imagine you want to just put a couple pixels of space so there'll be a little white space around each box. Okay, and then I'll, I'll, I'll solve it in the next part of the video. Okay, so how are we going to solve that? Well, you know, there's a couple ways to do this. Um, why don't we just do this? Um, I'm going to change the, the R, the rectangle here, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, right here, I'll just say dot inset by. And let's say we're inset by two pixels on the X and two pixels on the Y. And we could have done the inset up here, but, it, you know, if we wanted, maybe that would have even been better, but it would run off my screen. So I'm going to do it right there. And now each of our frames that we created here should be inset by two pixels, right? Let's give it a try. Hey, that looks pretty good, right? Um, now, you'll notice I did this, and it was, like, really pretty easy, and there was no constraints involved, right? So, actually, it's kind of cool to be able to make views without constraints, because sometimes the constraints are actually a lot of work. On the other hand, if I rotated this um, view there, it doesn't really resize or reposition anything, right? Because... Um, you know, there's no constraints to rearrange the views. And that's really the beauty of constraints, even though they are a big hassle, right? So in some cases, you know, if your app was was not going to, you know, it doesn't, doesn't work in landscape mode, then maybe, you know, constraints maybe don't, you don't need anything if you're going to size your views to fit, right? Because I could do this at different screen sizes and they would always be, you know, the width of the screen divided by three, you know, um, so as long as my vertical, I know that the vertical height isn't going to fill the whole screen, then this would probably work on a lot of different screen sizes. Um, but anyway, there's just a thought there. So there's another little thing using inset and creating views programmatically, right? So anyway, thanks for watching.